I'm Dr. Rod Taylor. I'm the founder of Low Carb Down Under and the co-convener of the Low Carb Denver 2020 conference. I'm talking here with Chris Webster from South Africa. Chris, what have you been working on? All right, so in my PhD, um, there were two main studies. So the one was to try and better understand people who, or type two diabetes patients who've self-selected and adopted low carbohydrate diets and to try and understand their perceptions of the diet and the outcomes. And then the second study is related to, um, it's a whole bunch of pilot testing, but we're building up to measure gluconeogenesis during type two diabetes reversal. Okay, good. And uh, what, what have you found? Well, so going back to that first study, looking at people who self-selected low carb diets. So we found that the, for these individuals, it was a, they had a, a extremely good outcomes. So HbA1, uh, well, type two diabetes was essentially in some version of remission in two thirds of the group that we studied. But I think for me, the biggest change in my mindset is the importance of the psychological factors and in particular things like hunger, addiction, which I've never, you know, we hear about food addiction, but I've never really understood what that means. So hunger, addiction and control of eating. So the, the low carbohydrate diet has really helped these individuals who are predisposed to these, there may be insulin resistance, they're predisposed to these problems to really help them gain control over their eating. So that's been the biggest, um, the biggest shift in my understanding of low carbohydrate diets. Yeah, and uh, where are you going from here? What's the next step in this process? Yeah, so, so the next step, we, we're trying to move now to the physiology. So we're trying to, we're trying to go towards understanding, um, so gl gluconeogenesis, which is the, liver's, the liver produces glucose from fat and lactate and a few other things. And in type two diabetes, the elevated blood glucose, particularly after an overnight fast, it's pretty much maintained by gluconeogenesis. So it's, it's, dis it's upregulated. And what we want to study now is trying to understand how a low carbohydrate diet affects gluconeogenesis and the link between gluconeogenesis and fatty liver, which is obviously a major problem in type 2 diabetes. Sounds good. And uh, w what department are you working in? Uh, so I'm with the, I'm at the University of Cape Town and I'm in the Department of Human Biology, but at the Exercise Science and Sports Medicine Division, which is where uh, Professor Tim Noakes, where I met him and where he used to operate from. So what got you started on low carb? So I was, studying, I was studying a degree called biokinetics, which is it's exercise as medicine. So we use exercise to rehabilitate injuries and um, chronic disease. And that was at the Sports Science Institute of South Africa. And one of the, this was in 2011, one of the lectures we had about the middle of the year, it was called Noakes Hour. And this was about the time when Professor Tim Noakes was starting to talk about his revelation with low carb. So in one of these lectures, he basically said to us that he thinks the high carbohydrate diet stuff is wrong and that Atkins in particular, that style of diet is correct. And he recommended Good Calories, Bad Calories by Gary Taubes. So that after that Noakes Hour lecture, I went and read that, the book, and for whatever reason, it just resonated with me. And then probably three or four months later, I was starting to experiment with low carb myself. So what do you, what do you eat? So this is something that's changed a lot over the, over the years. Right now, I'm, I would describe my diet as um, as meat based so it's mostly meat with but I'm not I'm not um, opposed to 
vegetables. And if I do eat vegetables, I actually prefer starchy vegetables. But that's, I've become very much a fan of, of evaluating foods based on how my body responds to the foods. So that's what I really, and how I feel, energy, how I feel energy wise, how I can concentrate. So that's where it's led me over the years. So I'm now um, meat based, but I, I'll include vegetables. So that sounds good. Mm, yeah. Chris, great talking with you today. Thank you very oh, much. Thanks, and Rod. Look, look forward to hearing your talk at the conference tomorrow. Great. Thank, Thank you. you.